Hello there guys, my name is Chris Shadon, to one more build for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News room update from Six Flags Magic Mountain and this is all about their plans for a brand new roller coaster set to open in the 2021 season. Now, we've been hearing lots of different rumours from map power splashes to tilt coasters to RMC Raptors. However, nothing however has been concrete. We spoke about the leak of the tilt coaster in the previous video, but that ended up being fake. However, we now have some official plans publicly from a Los Angeles County planning development site that we're going to share with you in this video. So first of all, shout outs go to Brian Galeas and Ryan Gibson. If you want to shout out in our next video, please comment down below. Make sure you comment down below your questions as well, today and tomorrow, and then that's it, the deadline for your 1,000 phone subscriber Q&A video questions uh, so you've only got today and tomorrow and that's it and closing down sale everything must go <laughs> um, make sure you like comment subscribe and click notification bell so you never miss any more theme park news from updates during this lockdown period make sure you share the channel with your friends and family as well let's get into this video then from six flags magic mountain so for those of you who need some background information six flags magic mountain recently put some markers which look to lay up around a Jersey Devil clone at Six Flags Great Adventure to replace Green Lantern First Flight, the Intamin Zaxpin coaster that first opened in 2011, relocated to La Ronde for the 2020 season as Viper, which is Viper in French. Um, and basically, yeah, Green Lantern First Flight and the Tidal Wave, which is their Shoot the Shoot water ride that Six Flags have been removing over the last couple of years at other Six Flags parks, that those two rides well one's already gone but tidal wave is also rumoredly to close uh, for this development for this 2021 development the markers match a clone of jersey devil which is an rmc single rail coaster it's the tallest fastest longest in the world uh beating the record from rail blazer at california's great america and wonder woman golden lasso coaster at six flags fiesta texas they were the two prototype raptor coasters while the t-rex coaster the bigger of the model is still in the development stage at Rocky Mountain Construction Headquarters. Now, recent reports and recent findings show that we've got official plans from the Los Angeles County and Pine Development site, which tells us that we are going to get an extended Jersey Devil clone in 2021 at Six Flags Magic Mountain. Let's share those planning images on your screen now. Fan Dabby Dozy, look at those planning images. Those are some general planning images. But then, we're going to put an image on your screen right about now. Fan Dabby Dozy, this is a very specific planning image in general. And this is a very specific one. Because this tells you, or shows you, the exact layout of the attraction. So you can see the black track. You see some green and purple where the station area is. Even though that's probably planning colour scheme, so it's normal to have that kind of colour scheme on a plan. I personally like to use that purple and green as a basis for potential colours and potential themes for this coaster, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But you can see on the screen the layout stretches right up until the circle plot of land near to Riddler's Revenge and opposite the station area, quite a distance away still, but still opposite from the station area, mainly opposite Tidal Wave. You can see that circle plot of land where the turn is. But you can see that the station reuses Green Lantern First Flight Station, and I think that's a very strategic move by Magic Mountain, because of course, Green Lantern First Flight's track has gone, however, the station has not yet been demolished. That tells us the station will be reused for the next development. Now, as you can also see, the coaster goes through the Tidal Wave plot of land, which tells us that Tidal Wave will be removed from the park. Now, I am going to talk about potential new attractions uh, in the spaces that's not covered up by the new coaster, um, that was covered by Tidal Wave in a little bit. But, let's move on to another image right now, on your screen, right now, find out what that is via Google Earth, and that is the site, so you can see where the photo icon is, where the little bit of writing gets cut off by the screen. Uh, you can see that circle plot of land where the coaster stretches to, and you can clearly try and mark out the layout uh, going through Tidal Wave and where Green Lantern Station is. If you need a little bit of help with that, I'm going to put another image on your screen right now. Find a bit dozy. That merges the layout plan 
with the Google Earth image and you can clearly see if you need a little bit of help from that Google Earth image to try and make out the layout I merged the two in that image and you can clearly see the layout goes through Tidal Wave uses that circular plot of land at the end how it outstretches the coaster's layout right near opposite Tidal Wave and you can see that the Green Lantern is used as the station area so it lines up pretty much exactly so there we go, so that is a look at the plans that were released on the Los Angeles County and Development Planning site. Now let's talk about the two topics that I wanted to talk about in this video. Colours and themes and other areas of Tidal Wave's plot of land they could use for future development. Now you notice the uh, lift hill and the, first, and the big turn before the start of the drop. You notice that that area isn't really being used uh, for this development. Now, personally, I'd like to see a new flat ride on that site uh, if they cover it with land um, and they have it as like an underwalkway for the coaster. And maybe let's like see a new flat ride under there if it's not too trouble or a family ride or something, just to sort of round up that whole area. Uh, so it wasn't really, you know, a long conversation about that, but the main conversation at the end of this video is colours and themes. Now, I mentioned the purple and the green. Now, that could be two potential colour schemes in my opinion if it is set to be a colour scheme that's involved in the ride like I said it's probably just a planning image colour scheme but I do believe that the purple and green could be used for something more than that and the two I assumulate are the Joker or Martian Manhunter now this is DC this is not strategically Batman this is DC overall Joker would be a fantastic colour scheme and a fantastic theme for the ride now, Joker isn't really a major coaster at Six Flags Magic Mountain, so I'd like to see the Joker being used as a major roller coaster. And I think if they do use the Joker theme, I think it will be called the Joker. Similar to what Six Flags Discovery Kingdom over in the other California park in the Six Flags chain, Discovery Kingdom, uses for their Joker, which is their RMC, Rocky Mountain Construction, hybrid transition of Raw, their old GCI. Uh, now... With this Joker theme, obviously that's one strong contender, but another one is Martian Manhunter. Now, I say purple and green for Martian Manhunter as primary colours. They will obviously use other things like black, red, um, darker green, lighter purples than the, than the primary purple. So there will be a primary and a secondary colour scheme with the Martian Manhunter theme. Now the reason I say Martian Manhunter could be a strong contender for the theme of this ride is because looking at that tilt coaster leak, uh, even though the tilt coaster was fake, I believe the theme may not be. Now of course, again, I could be wrong, but I'd like to see a Martian Manhunter themed coaster. I think it would give a very different DC villain theme uh, a di or, or hero shall I say a, D a DC comics theme it would be a very different theme for the theme park um, and one that many other Six Flags parks haven't really used for major attractions uh, so I think the Joker uh, Chaos Coaster or the Joker or Martian Manhunter Coaster will be the three possible names for this coaster but if you've got any other suggestions for DC villains or heroes or any names you can think of or color schemes that you could back up for this coaster then please comment them down below I'd love to hear your suggestions about all this but for now guys thank you very very much for watching this theme park news room update from Six Flags Magic Mountain again leave your comments and suggestions and thoughts and opinions below as well as the questions for the Q&A video which we'll be recording a couple of days time but for now guys thank you very 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 much for watching this theme park newsroom update please like comment subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a youtube video my name is coach chow keep living the coast life and i'll see you guys in the next video very very soon take care guys have an awesome day